What's up, y'all, man? Y'all already know what time it is, man. Today, we're going to be checking out Tiny Dancer by Elton John. Ah, righty. Now, we have heard two songs so far. We've heard Goodbye Yellow Brick Road as well as Rocket Man. And Rocket Man in particular, man, it really stuck with me. And I've also heard it sampled recently, which is another reason why we listen to Elton today, man. It kind of reminded me, gave me that spark. Because that song really stuck with me, man. And um, it's not surprising that it's sampled uh, quite a bit, actually, because it's such a unique song. I mean, I feel like the way he sings it, very unique. It's, it, you can do a lot of things with the instruments and stuff that they use and kind of play with them in different ways, make different sounds. So uh, it, it's a standout song for sure. So this is another one of his biggest hits, apparently. I actually did find out that a man named Bernie actually writes a lot of his songs. So we about to see what we getting into, man. Before we do get started, if you guys have other artists, other songs y'all would like for me to check out, let me know in the comments below. And if you do enjoy the video, please subscribe. Let's do it. say i'm really really enjoying how he's singing this one i was just talking about with rocket man how he had a unique way he sang this but in this one he kind of it's it's a little more calm cool and collected it's almost like somber you know what i'm saying like it, it's beautiful man you know you can tell he's feeling feeling complete bliss complete happiness from just thinking about this particular person you know what i'm saying now it is kind of crazy because Elton didn't write this. So uh, he's actually singing. Technically, he's singing about his writer's fiance. <laughs> if that makes sense. But uh, I still am really, really enjoying the song, man. I think I think it has such a beautiful presence about it, man. And uh, one thing I notice a lot, man, Elton, he, what really stands out for me is the piano. I, I don't t typically notice the piano a lot in songs. It kind of gets you know, pushed in the background, but the piano always stands out so far whenever I listen to Elton John, man. And, um, I don't, I don't know what it is in particular, but I think the creative ways that he kind of uses it and weaves it in, it, it just works all the time for me, man. So I'm really enjoying it. And, uh, it has that sonic feel that we expect from Elton, man. Three for three so far. We're going to continue. We're going to keep it rolling, man. Let's go. Oh, man. 
crazy bro and you know what i'm saying like it this song has been building for three minutes <laughs> like i i don't think i don't think i don't even think i was thinking about that at first this song has legit been building for three minutes every single 30 seconds or so they added something else they added a choir at one point where they was like oh and then brought this angelic feel to it then they had like these this the, they changed the whole cadence up made it seem like you were like walking upstairs almost. And then, then they start bringing in a, I believe that's a violin. So it's like, it's constantly changing and it's getting better and better with time, bro. <laughs> I, I, yo, this one, this one is really wrapping up. I'm honestly thinking like, what else could he add? We got another three minutes. What more could he add to this? Hey, this one is slowly, slowly building on the rankings, man. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 we got another three minutes. We're going to see what he got for us. But this is getting crazy, bro. And, I, I, you know, lyrically, it's sticking with me. Obviously, he is mesmerized by this Tiny Dancer. I, I like the whole creative thing, Tiny Dancer thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it talks about how she's a ballerina, all these different things. So you can kind of picture what she looks like when she's out there dancing. And uh, it kind of brings everything together with the music. So, whew. Oh, he on fire, man. together everything i just raved about about you know a minute and a half two minutes ago they're bringing it all together you got the choir in there oh, but what's standing out the absolute most to me you know what i'm saying he sounds amazing he sounds immaculate he's up there too but what's really really standing out for me is that the bow the bow string instruments my goodness after every single line he says we get a new cadence of like vroom, 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 vroom. And, it, and, it, and it's just it's just, it's sticking with me. I think I, yo, I'm starting to become a really big fan of bold string instruments. They, they, they hit different, man. And they bring a totally different feel that you just can't get with more instruments. So, man, bro, after every single line, I'm looking forward to it, bro, because it sounds so good, man. In my head.
that chorus was something, man. Lay me down and she's the land. Yo, oh, that yo, comes. that chorus. Oh man, yo, he went crazy on this one. I definitely, definitely brought it on this one. And I gotta say, fire, bro. Certified playlist, especially, you know what I'm saying? The beginning, it, it was sticking with me, but as as he started to add more in instruments, it really, really took it to new heights for me. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I will say this song aged like fine wine. <laughs> I gotta say, man, I really enjoyed this one. Hope you guys did as well. I appreciate all who recommended it. Thank you guys, man. Got another one for my playlist. I appreciate you. Love y'all. Peace out.